In this example, we'll use a graphing calculator to build a logistic population model for New York City. We're given some population data from 1900 to 1970, and the population is given in millions. First, we're going to go to the calculator and enter the data. But when we do, we'll scale the years as we normally do and make the first year year zero. So the years will look like 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70 instead of 1900 and so on. And the populations will just enter as shown 3.44 up to 7.89. Let's go over to the calculator. First, we'll hit stat and enter the edit menu to enter the data entry. And I've already entered the data, the years in list one, that's going to be our x values or our t values. And then in list two, I've entered the populations, which will be y or p sub t, according to our notation. So now we can do logistic regression for building a logistic population model. So again, hit the stat button and go to the calc menu. And now we want to look for the logistic regression option. So if we scroll down, we'll eventually find the logistic option. It's option B, very near the bottom of the list. So if we hit enter, again, as long as we've entered the years in list one and the populations in list two, nothing needs to be changed here. So we can simply scroll down to calculate and it will give us the model for this logistic regression example. Notice the first line again is the model. It's that form of the formula. It's a little bit hard to read the way it's written, but it's the same formula we've been using and it gives us the values for A, B, and C. So we can fill these in and write down the model and we'll write it down in a more familiar form. Instead of Y, we'll use P sub T. So we'll write P sub T equals, and then on top of this fraction we'll have C, which is 8.1, divided by, in parentheses, we don't need those parentheses though, 1 plus A, that's 1.39, E to the power of negative B X, but we're using T instead. So we'll use negative 0 0.066 times t. And there it's written the way that we're familiar with. So we're just filling in the values for a, b, and c in this model, and that's the model that was built by logistic regression.